Saga means history or a story. Sauka is the name of the Sarvadarsin, all-seeing goddess, the seeress. She is Frigg from Priya, Prema, the loved and highly revered one. She is our purity, pure and untouched as the petals of a lotus, which cannot be wetted, repel anything that comes from outside. We have a saying in Icelandic, like splashing water on a goose, meaning do something that has no effects whatsoever, vain actions, bound to fail. <laughs>When we reach Valhut, fully alive, of course, as it is not some heaven for the slain at all, then we see out of the windows of the supreme state. Hlín, a goddess, probably another name for Frigg, Sauka, she to whom we can lean, she who we can trust. Her name is derived from Sanskrit Shri. Holy Mary is this for many, who we can lean on to trust. She is somewhat kinder to talk to than this mono god who can get angry and revengeful out of the blue. Holy Mary was written in Rome. She should, from that time on, be the only female deity allowed. Goddess worship could not be uprooted because it is so much a part of us. They had to come up with a counter move. We added her, Virgin Mary, along with Jesus and the Roman God, to our pantheon, polytheon. Hlín, some say, is associated with linen, flax, from which we make clothes. This good gift of Mother Nature grows wild in the meadows for us, or we grow it, culture it, in our own meadow. Hægi is meadow, so haga lín means meadow flax, or garden linen, Please tell Dr. Hegelin next time you see him. Hope he knows the though already. Dísir, Sanskrit dish, they serve our great goddess Frigg. They bear meaningful names. Fudla, Sanskrit pura, purna. Gná, Sanskrit gná. Gná has a horse, Hofvartnir, who glides both on earth and in the sky.